everyone, Paul and Tessa Scale Modeler, welcome to another review. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing a new paint set to me, they've been out for quite some time. Um, it's a Mr. Hobby, Mr. Colour range of paints. I've got four of their sets um, for various sp specific subjects. Uh, I've never used a Mr. Colour before, these are uh, solvent based, lacquer, cellulose based paints. I've used the Aquarius now for a good ooh, three years nearly. Uh, massive fan of Mr. Hobby Aquarius, which are water. But I don't know if they've got Aquarius in the name because they're not, they're alcohol based. Um, these, like I say, are lacquer, cellulose based, so a bit more smelly, but should be a harder wear in paint. Well, hopefully, anyway. Uh, like I say, I've never used them before. Um, they get rave reviews everywhere, so it's something I want to try for quite some time. So, got a few of these sets sent to me by Martin at air-craft.net. We've got the uh, US Army and Navy Royal Air Force, or FOS, as it says on the box for some reason. Aircraft interior colour set, the World War II US Naval Aircraft standard colour set, and World War II RAF uh, standard colour set for early desert and the middle and late period as well. There's three paints in a box, um, and all the colours are on the side as well. So what I'll do, take this over a camera so you can have a look. So, like I say, each box, three paints in each one, we'll pick one, we'll go for, uh, let's go for the World War II Early and Desert. So they're well packaged, a little bit of a spacer in the box, to space them out. Like I say, three colours. So we've got the sky colour, so that's the underneath of most aircraft. We've got dark earth for early aircraft, um, early Spitfires, Hurricanes, etc. Quite a hard colour to match, and azure blue. Uh, very very nice colours, they do need mixing, there's one thing I did notice, I haven't sprayed them yet but I did have a good look. That is a stunning colour, absolutely beautiful. But they do need a good mix and my Badger paint mixer will come in very very handy. Now just taking the lid off, I can smell them, it smells just like the Mr. Colour Thinner, which is what we'll be using on these. Um, and that is kind of what the Acura smell like as well. Um, so. They're going to smell a bit more, but I don't think it's going to be a huge difference, but you definitely need an extractor, spray booth, uh, etc. And or face mask, I'll probably have both on when I'm using these. Not for the review, I'll be able to hear me talk. But if you are using them, take precautions, don't be spending them in your living room with your kids next door. Make sure you're either outdoors or you've got a well-vented room. So, like I say, not used them before, so we'll go to the spray booth and have a quick uh, go of them in a minute, and it'll be nice to see how they are. The box, like I say, has a spacer inside. Each one's the same. I'm not going to open each one. Uh, we'll probably test the interior and the US Naval one spraying. But on the side, you've got some basic information in Japanese, basic information on aircraft. You can see the colours there. It says the Earth. There's your blue, etc. Then on the other side, the actual colours themselves. Uh, there's no English on there other than the name, the BS number, uh, and the other number as well. Um, so there's no English on there, but it's paint. At the end of the day, you, you, you airbrush it, and away you go. So there we go. Um, quite excited to try these. Sounds a bit sad, but something I want to try for quite some time. Uh, so we'll pop over to the spray booth, and uh, we'll give them a blast. Okay, so we're over in the spray booth. I've picked a couple of the sets to test. I'm going to prep up a colour out of each, and I know which ones I'm going to do because the two colours are most interested in these sets. So we've got the US uh, Naval Aircraft World War II and the World War II Aircraft Interior Colour Set. We're going to test the uh, the dark blue in this one, which is the uh, glossy blue, which is that one there. And in the interior one, we're going to test the chromate green uh, primer colour because they're the most... Uh, significant colours out of these two sets for me. So we'll spray the the sea blue first. Now quite a difficult colour to find. A lot of manufacturers try to match this and in my opinion they get it way way wrong. Um, the closest I've found so far is the Acan colour um, which I used on my corset. So it's interesting to see what this one's going to look like. Now like I said before I've never used these before, completely my first time using them. Um, they're going to need a good mix up, so I've got my paint mixer there. So I'll open up and have a look. As you can see, it's a nice dark blue. Beautiful colour. Straight away, I can smell the solvent. Obviously, not like 
the uh, Mr. Hobby Acuras these, these are cellulose based. Now what we're going to do, we're going to mix it in a colour cup, sorry a mixing cup. Um, I'm just going to pop a little bit in. I'll do is put the lid back on and then we'll add a bit of Mr. Hobby Mr. Colour Thinner. I do have the level and stuff as well, but we'll try it with this. And like I said over on the bench, I will uh, come back and we'll try the different colours on different models and I'll report back in my at the bench videos. So there's a tiny bit of uh, paint in there. I'm just going to put a little bit thinner, not a massive amount. I do it by eye, I never measure. Badger paint mixer is absolutely superb for mixing paint. Unbeatable, in my opinion. Uh, you can sit there shaking it all day, but unless you uh, really do give it a real good mix, sometimes the paints aren't mixed properly at all. So there we go, nicely mixed in there. We've got my Hardesteen back Infinity, my compressor is on with 24 psi. Now, we've got three 60ml cups here that I use for measuring stuff. I prime them in the Badger Steinler Res Grey Primer. Um, we're just going to spray. Use one, maybe two. I've got a spare one just in case. One for the Chromate, one for the Blue. And we'll have a look, see what they spray like. And let's see. So, like I say, first time I've ever used them, I'm used to the Aquas. So, we'll get a good couple of mil in there. Test spray. And again, no idea how thin we're spray, uh, just how thin we are, but no problems in spraying. And we're going to put a light mist on to begin with. Now, by the noise of the airbrush, I'm going to guess we can do a thinning a little bit more. in a little bit. Great sprays on great sprays just like Mr. Hobby Aquas. No problems at all. Coverage is beautiful. Mr. Hobby really do have this paint market cornered with these paints and you not use them they're absolutely superb <clears throat> the accurate spray brilliantly by the looks of these now I've got quite a good thick coat on Let's see how we go that coverage is absolutely fantastic can't fault that at all Nice coverage. The colour looks very good, very, very close match to what I had um, in my Corsair, so I can't fault that at all. And again, if we just do a little bit of swiggle painting. Let's see how thin a line we can get. So you can get nice fine lines. Like I say, it does need to thin a bit more. When we do the chromate one in a minute, we'll thin it a little bit more than we just did. But that, <coughs> no problem at all. If we come back in, let's put a real thick coat down. Thicker than we normally would spray, let's just see how it lays down. Out of interest. I'm just going to mark this side. So I know this is the thicker side, and we can compare it when we dry. So there we go, brilliant. <coughs> now, clean out, you're going to need lacquer thinner or cellulose, so i got some cellulose thinner right there quick little look how it cleans out the cup so 
Got a good, good look. Cellulose during there, probably two and a half mil. More than normally used, but I didn't look to be honest, so I just bumped it in. So usual airbrush cleaning, brush right in, all the way around, ease the needle back so you get the end of the needle too. Awesome. The kitchen roll. Pinch the needle, back flow. Pour away. Might pop the colour cup. Spotless. Spray out what we got left. Clean the tip. To uh, get the brush in there too. Once you're nice and gentle, you can clean your uh, your needle no problem. Another back flow. Job done. Like I say, because the lacquer base cellulose paints, they need a lacquer based thinner, cellulose thinner. Clean them out, and there we go, spotless. So there's the blue. No fault there. All the colour is absolutely stunning. Very happy with that. So we'll quickly grab the green. Really impressed by that. That's absolutely fantastic. Just a shame. It's such a hard colour. Uh, paint to get in the UK. For some reason we can't get the Mr. Paints, uh, Mr. Colour, sorry, Mr. Hobby, Mr. Colour in the UK. Easy. I've no idea why, but we can't. Let's knock everything over. So, again, you are a beautiful colour. Absolutely lovely, so. Now, ah, that's the wrong one. Sorry, I want the primer. Oh, nearly. But the colour didn't look quite right then. Yeah, I want to try the prime. That's a beautiful colour. Very, very nice. Again, give it a mixer. And if you can, if the new bottles, try and keep them clean. The lids, you know, the lids will come off a lot easier as well. Once you're done, again, just a little bit splash of... Put a little bit more in this time. So we'll... Easier 50-50 mix. So it might not cover as well. It should spray a little bit better. Right, so through the infinity again. Colour cut, we'll move the blue one. Again, no problem spraying spray nice thin lines. Mist coat on first. There's an obvious difference in smell. I got a bench vent A300 booth and this thing will get rid of a lot of stuff. I mean, when spraying heavy, I'm getting a little mist of paint back and I can spray it. I normally do wear a, a respirator in here too. And I would recommend that. There we go, so nice mist coat down, so we're coming a bit thicker now. Again, the coverage is lovely, a little bit thinner this time, the airbrush has been struggling. I'm spraying it a lot thicker and a lot quicker than I normally would. to get the coverage but again beautiful colour absolutely stunning got a little bit of paint left so let's try some squiggles again much easier now we've got more thin paint no 
problem at all. Just mark that again, and then we'll put it down. Stay. Nearly out. Just get this cover. Got a little bit left in that cover cup. Would be awesome. A little bit more. So they spray a lot like aqueous. They smell a lot worse. But to be honest, not a whole lot aqueous. Other alcohol, uh, especially water, they're not. They're alcohol based. They do smell. These have got a bit more of a whiff to them. But that coverage is stunning. That's a bit of a wet coat, you can see that now. So use up what's left in that colour cup. And there we go. Absolutely beautiful colour. So I'll clean this up and we'll go back to the bench. Right, we're out the spray booth. I haven't looked at the uh, test pots just yet. I've just cleaned the airbrush up and come straight over here and uh, we'll have a looky see what they look like. So we sprayed the navy uh, set first, the the gloss blue. And this was the thicker side we sprayed on. The dried, it's only been God, not even ten minutes of that, five minutes. A little bit of tackiness there still. Can't really smell it, so it's almost it is you know it's touch dry. Uh, this is the side we sprayed on a bit thinner, and uh, yeah, not bad. It's covered well, really well. Um, so from inside, is there any difference in? Yeah, it's definitely coverage is very well. Putting it on thicker has covered it more, but whether there's a massive difference in doing it, I don't know. And I normally spray this right in mist coat down. And gradually build up. It might look like I was putting a lot of paint down, but I hardly had the trigger pull back before at all. So great coverage there. So that's the the misted on side. We're a bit rough because I didn't sand it back. It was rough primed. Um, so nice coverage there, and on the thicker part as well. It's definitely a deeper shine. So if you built up a bit more, but you can see where I haven't quite got the bottom with it as well. More even coats there, and that'd look absolutely stunning. So, like I said, it's a very good match for the sea blue. Uh, it's quite a hard colour to get the correct colour of. See a lot of corsairs, uh, and the blue just looks wrong, in my opinion. Uh, but obviously, it's down to the individual model of what they think, and that's how that works. So, chromate primer, as you can see, there's a lighter coat, so not quite got the coverage there because I put it in lighter, but where we have got it, it's covered well. Um, it's a nice satiny that side's more satin a bit more of a shine this side's more matte where I haven't put it on as thick but again coverage absolutely superb the colours are fantastic so they're well pigmented and uh, that just looks great so cannot fault them at all absolutely love them um, if I can get more of them I certainly will uh, I know there's a whole range of them like the Aquas um, but I don't think I need them all because I've got the Acuous. So maybe there's some specific colours I haven't got. And I know there are other sets. So I'll definitely be paying uh, Martin a visit. Air-craft.net for the other sets I think. Um, but that, yeah, I am well impressed. Easy coverage, easy to spray, easy to clean out the brush as you saw. Uh, great coverage, no problem getting that paint down there. Um, and that's it. So great colours all around. Like I say, four different sets. Uh, there's ones for Japanese, there's NATO colours, and I think they're about £8.50 a set. Um, so, for three paints, it's not the cheapest, um, but I think you're getting good paints and stuff. And that, you know, specific sets, interior sets, you've got the Chromate Type 1, the Primer, and the Aircraft Grade Green. So, they're going to do all your. Uh, most of your interior needs on aircraft. You've got the naval aircraft which is going to cover Corsairs, Dauntless etc and those colours are absolutely brilliant. Uh, the only thing you think you're missing there is a white for the underneath. Yeah, doesn't give you that one. But 
that's just a generic white anyway so great colours that's a highly recommended set for Corsairs hard colours to find in my opinion uh, the Royal Air Force again that earth brown dark earth is a tricky colour to find as well Acan does a very good match uh, as does one of the Mr Hobby RLMs uh, makes a good match oh no sorry they do do a dark earth Mr Hobby Acris it's up there um, so again great colours as well and sky a very specific colour and then your standard colours as well so medium sea grey ocean grey dark green very generic colours for so spitfires etc so you will see these in action in later builds of mine and when I do an after bench update using them I'll make sure to mention them so you know that it's what's been used so there you go so good well, where are we 20 20 minute 25 minute review uh, hope you haven't waffled on too long I've bored the bejesus out of you but I think it's important to give them a good little test. You know, I could talk about them until the cows come in, but spraying them really does show it, and that is fantastic. I am well impressed. So there you go. So if you want some, go to see uh, MartinAircraft.net. So there's his website. Go and have a look. Martin's a great guy, great customer service, and uh, just fantastic service all around. Highly recommend Martin all day long. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you around, and I'll see you guys soon.